All right, so here we are. This is a uh, short video on my test of DMSO, or dimethyl sulfoxide. Uh, as many of you know, oh, this is Talon Raid, by the way. Many of you know I've been uh, struggling with IT band syndrome for about five weeks now. Uh, this is some DMSO that I read about on the internet after uh, some old redneck told me uh, that he uses this quite a bit. Uh, he happens to also be a runner. He uses this uh, not only on his horses but also on his IT band and some uh, tendonitis he's had. Picked this up at the feed store for about five bucks. So uh, anyway, I, I've seen it online for much more, but if you get a feed store nearby, uh, and if I don't die in this experiment, that'd be a place to get it. Here's the affected knee. I did test out a little bit right about here, about a, maybe a two inch spot. Uh, let it sit on there for about an hour. No redness, no irritation, no itching, anything. Uh, anyway, so in case I don't make it, this is my bathtub. I figured if I'm gonna die, I may as well die right here. That way, cleanup will be a snap. And, uh, and I've also got my Mortal Kombat underwear on, just in case I need a little extra support. But anyway, here's the uh, DMSO. I bought this in a handy roll-on, and uh, used it quite a bit on horses when I was a kid. And uh, we're just going to kind of see what happens here, uh, just in case I I die. Uh, tell my wife and kids I love them. Uh, I did clean my leg before I'm doing this. I used some good old high quality. H2O and a blue wash rag. I didn't use anything else. I just scrubbed the knee pretty good. Anyway, I'm kind of rolling this on there. I had read on the internet with, and anyone that says anything on the internet, you can trust them. So I read uh, quite a bit about people who have used this in the past. And they said they went about uh, four to six inches above the kneecap and below. So I'm giving this a pretty good coat, but not really drenching it. And uh, there it is, it's on. And we'll see what happens. Um, Anyway, I'll maybe report back in three hours a show uh, if I'm still alive. <clears throat> and uh, if not, uh, tell everyone I said I really enjoyed talking to you on Runner's World or uh, Barefoot Running uh, Society. And uh, I do will this bottle in case I should die uh, to Chaser Williams of Beaumont, Texas, just in case he wants to put it on his teeth. Okay, thanks.